Welcome to the Poison Moth's Lair. Not one of the more exciting musical themes in the game. Another one of those Casio keyboards. Except this guy's just kind of tinkering around with it instead of smashing it. It does sort of feel like an accidental improv, doesn't it? Right. So I'm going to go ahead and predict the dungeon item is obviously a giant bug zapper. That would be pretty good. Problem is you have to hold it and stand still and wait for the moth to come to you. So something that did occur to me when I was playing through the game, I don't think they reused any of the dungeon themes between the games. Right. All the dungeons have unique themes, which is pretty cool. Well, unfortunately, I don't have a shield. I, I, actually, I do have a shield, don't I? Yeah. So why the hell am I using the shovel? For the challenge. I guess so. Yep, there it is right there. Level 1 shield. You gotta upgrade to level 0 shield to be able to do this. But those rooms, they always spawn four wall masters. Same jar pushing puzzle. Do not push it against the wall until you're down at the bottom here, otherwise you won't be able to move it. Yeah, McFly can only push pots, he can't pull them. Getting them all together. Yeah, it's easy just to kite them all so they're all together. Push them against the wall. Uh -huh. Well, that happened. That is not a case where you can just use the Pegasus seeds. Now we need something else. Something that allows us to avoid the switch. Careful. Yeah, if you try to push these while standing on the crumbly ones, you're gonna fall through before it moves. And like you said, I can't use the boomerang against those guys right now. You should be able to, yeah. Yay, we can finally kill them. Yay. Thanks, Dimitri. Good additional utility of the flutes. It's such an odd enemy. One that gets killed by sound. Right. Dimitri wanders in. What do you want? <laughs> I can't swim in here. How did I get up that vine? Damn it, I had to fight so many bats. Well, that wall was kind of telegraphed. Yeah. And also they gave me bombs. Now we're not telling you not to bomb the wall, but here's some bombs and uh, the floor... Yeah. Tells you to bomb the wall. We're not holding your hand at all. Ah, more color puzzles. This looks trickier than it is. Yeah, no. The key is getting at least one of these statues two spaces up. So you can easily move that far light statue over. Like this. That didn't take very long. No sweat. Which would be weird, because it's a Game Boy game. Right. Nah, fuck it. <laughs> I don't need to kill them. Though it feels nice. Oh, but you want to. I really do. Uh, doesn't work against them. Nope. But that does. You can shield bash them, too, but that bumps you back as well. This is where I would have fallen if I fell from up there. That's nice. For example. <laughs> that was for educational purposes. Totally intentional. 
It did help to reset them. Uh, it doesn't work on them. It doesn't have a nose. Well, n neither does Stalfos. Welcome to our disco rave room. DJ Trap. Putting on the tunes. He ironically doesn't play trap music. <laughs> Here we go. Hey, we got the rock's feather. Level one? What could that mean? Aha. Uh -huh. Getting some variation up in here. Later. Another pretty cool upgrade, by the way. Mm. This music doesn't seem to follow any meter. No, no, like I said, it's like, I just imagine some guy on the keyboard just kind of like, Ooh, just poking keys. They gave this dungeon music assignment to an intern. They would have had to credit him. So this is something that wasn't in ages, but is all over seasons. Trampolines. And they play around with it a little bit. There might have been trampolines like once or twice, but I don't think we had to move them around. In this one, we do. Please tell me you jump on one that's not under a hole. You know what I probably should have? All right. Didn't occur to me because I do practice these dungeons first. Well, for the benefit of the kids at home watching, it makes a bong sound, and then Link falls down. Yep. It's kind of funny. Surprisingly, flying into the ceiling kind of hurts. If only it did damage. <laughs> it only breaks your neck. Bloop, bloop. Bloop, bloop. You're gonna push this one all the way across the room. They do tell you where you need to put it, though. Quickly. I am the guard! The guard of the key- Oh! When you fall back down the hole, the trampoline's position gets reset. See? Now you've broken your spine. Oh no! Remember me! Oh no! I have the weirdest trouble with this damn room. It's the music, it's throwing you off. Well, I was listening when I was practicing and I got this on the first try. How did that guy even think he was a threat? Here, I'll smash him from below. Oh, wait. Oh yeah, I'm in the dungeon with the rock's feather. That's the music laughing at me. <laughs> Here we are, I had to do a bit of backtracking. But now we can avoid that switch. You've solved my puzzle this time, McFly. This time, McFly! Okay. That's got to be the most cryptic thing in any of these games. I'd like to see a novel start with that line. In water, it is invincible, but in love, it is hopeless. All right, viewers at home, you have a creative writing assignment. I want 1,500 words or less. So we're mini boss. There's three head firing jellyfish or squids. They're water ant lions? I don't know. Yeah, so these are invincible in the water. That's what the owl is trying to tell you. Need to use a power bracelet to pick them up and throw them out of it. Yep. 
They take a bit of damage. I'm curious if the Zora's fire ring prevents you from getting hit by these guys' fireballs. Hmm. I wonder, because it does look like the same sprite. Right. It's funny, as I watch you go through this, I start to think of these little experiments. That will never be tested. Yeah, I can't be asked to play the game again to <laughs> test this out. Going up there would take me to the boss door. I am my guard's brother. Oh. <laughs> Did we see those little jump pads in ages? I don't think they were there. They're basically places where you automatically jump over. So you don't need to use the rock's feather there. It's the um the 3D N64 link rules. Go to the edge and you jump immediately. But programmed in only one place. So from there, it's much easier just to go to the portal. And also, you kind of have to. Because you fall, there's no stairs. You could climb back up, but it takes a long time. Most cases, I don't use the portal I get from the mini-boss. Oh no, it's a poison moth. It doesn't poison you, it just attacks you. Yeah. Should have called me the Fire Moth. It's a pretty cut and dry boss. There's really nothing special about it. Avoid its attacks and hit it with your sword. The only thing is, there's kind of a callback to the Moldorm. Ed, uh, god damn it, you can fall. Right. And I can't quite tell. It sort of feels like the boss's damage resets when you do that. I don't know. Now, I did that there on purpose to show that once the boss is dead, it's okay. You can fall. Ah, uh, you gotta fight me again now. I feel so powerful, and yet still so feeble. You got the sextant. You got Pac-Man eating the sun. McFly, do you, you really think you should be holding the sun? <laughs> that are a really rad banana split. Hey, McFly, I kind of need that to grow and make chlorophyll. I've got a sunbird now. Well, yeah, when you steal the sun. Right. <laughs> Oh god, Sunken City. Okay... Now I remember. I think I literally stopped recording and thought, wait a damn minute. There it is. He finally picked up my gift. Very weird placement of a gift, Basu. He'll only be able to get this when he can control the seasons and make it summer. Damn another one. Ha <laughs> ha You got the reverse fortune. Well, I'm still rich. Out of my ass. Let's actually put Dimitri's flute to use. Dimitri, you dumbass. <laughs> Come get me now, you dick. <laughs> That's what you get for playing my flute in the dungeon. Where did you go? This happens to me all the damn time. It'd be funny if he swam in from down there. <laughs> I wouldn't hold it against him. Ooh. It's like they program the animal buddies to be assholes and just fuck with you the whole game. <laughs> this dude is actually going to give us one of the gems to get into the Tarm Ruins. But we need to finish all five dungeons before it first. That's how they gatekeep it. Because I think the other gems you can get well before you finish level five. Yeah, if you know where they are, you can actually just go get them. Once you have the items that allow you to get to where they are. Come on. Ah. Uh. That one Zoro is more of a pain than you realize. I'm really afraid to swim under bridges.
punch. <laughs> hey, did you find my gift? I left it in the one place I knew you'd find it. No damage from small <laughs> rocks. That's actually useful in Subrosia. Oh yeah, because there are volcanoes. Right, you got two of them. Nice. Alright, so this is his uh, gift to you, is the tossing ring, which just makes you throw things farther. That's it. Great gift, Vasu. You know me so well. I mean, it is good if you like to use bombs, you can be a little bit more of a distance. Biff has grown up! He's a... a warrior! He's me! Finally. The final stage of my plan is complete. <laughs> Get out of my way! My protege will stomp the world. He's off on his own. He's in the room next door. <laughs> so if I had stuck around, or if I had known about Biff well in advance, he could have grown up in ages. Oh well, you got him to grow up anyway. Yeah. So, there you go. I'm glad I didn't miss out on that. And so McFly, as the great prophet shine down foretold, found a way to steal the sun from the sky. What did it burn off his wax wings? Nice mashup. Those are two completely different. Yeah. <laughs> like Icarus, my jokes fly too high. The fight is on. All right. I got nothing. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Next time, Sunken City. I hate it.